Yes, I blew up the team. Yes, my team's not gonna look as beautiful as it once was, but today is the best RTG episode ever because today we bring in one of the best icons in FC24, and I'm excited. But first, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A9 Skills. Welcome back to the Road for Champions RTG edition, where it's about to get crazy. So once upon a time, I had Rio. Once upon a time, I had Henson. And once upon a time, I had Portellis. But now, in this episode, yeah, we get to bring in one of the biggest and baddest icons ever in FC24. When you talk about games like this, when you talk about FIFAs, let's be honest with each other, lads. When we talk about stuff like this, man, we talk about, you know, the top cards. Cruyff, Pele, R9, Ronaldinho, Azebu. And I had an opportunity, I had an opportunity to cash out and, you know, really blow up my team, but take all of my coins and invest it into one card. Invest it into one massive SBC, that will probably be one of the biggest cards that we've ever had in any, any, any RTG. And I've been doing RTGs for like 13 years here on YouTube. But I really started taking it really serious in FIFA 17. But I never really had a card at the caliber level of an R9, of a, a Zebu this early. So for the last few episodes, you know, we've been talking about bringing this to Zebu. So we sold everything on the account, got up to 1.4 million coins, and have literally put all of my coins into this SBC. I sunk it all. And by the time I'm done, what you guys are watching right now, I started getting a little bit nervous, but by the time I'm complete all the SBCs, I'm going to be left with about 200K and that's it. I had to buy everything. Um, I, always, I was only able to get like the 289 ones off, but I lost all of my fodder on the account. And then the rest of the way I was buying. And in this episode, we're finally not only going to be able to complete a Zebu, but also get gameplay with a Zebu. And also get to play weekend league qualifiers with a Zebu. So I can finally start to let you guys know if I think a Zebu is worth you doing what I did. Is it worth you blowing up everything you have? Is it worth you giving up all the stuff on your account just to have this one magical card? And the truth is, the unbelievably truth, the big truth, like the, the facts is, wow. And we'll get into it in just a minute. How was I picking up informs by doing the inform SBC? I would rinse the inform SBC to, to get informs because that was probably one of the most priciest thing. And I was lucky enough to get pretty good informs along the way. And then the rest of the way, I just had to buy gold. So as you guys are seeing, I'm down to 200K. Now, one thing about this account that you guys need to understand is I'm extremely lucky. For example, every time I complete an SBC, it seems like when I open the pack, when I'm just, okay, I was completing the Zebi, right? But every time I opened a pack, I would get something. Like for example, I opened a pack here at the end and I got like Odegaard and I opened one pack from a Zebu and I got an 88 rated card it's like that getting lucky like that is really like I don't know I don't really know how to explain it but it's extremely extremely lucky for me to be able to uh do that like complete an SBC get a mega pack and get a walkout but regardless the moment of truth vamos my Befica legend mil rey mil Befiquista my man a Zebu is here lads I even got my jersey on now one thing I did mess up First two games I played, I didn't have my Bayfica shirt on, but you best believe I'm going to put my Bayfica shirt on so my boy Azebi's in the Bayfica shirt, man. Check this out, man. My man got 93 pace, 93 shooting, 85 passing with uh, crazy dribbling, crazy stats all around. Look, when we talk about having a card like this on an RTG, that's wild. Like, like if you're an old head like me and you come from old FIFAs where... You know, you see what I'm saying? Odegaard out of a pack from completing a Zebu. Like, I just get lucky, man. Um, but when we talk about, like, if you're old head like me, you played all the old FIFAs, dude, like, having an Azebu on an RTG in December, like, that's not really, that's unheard of, you know? And this is what the team officially looks like now. The team officially has Smith, Eto, Neymar, Azebu. And as you guys can see, everything on my account is now loaned or untradeable. The only card that's on this account that's tradable is Aitana. But what I'm going to do with Aitana, lads, is Evo, Evo her. Why? Because I had the red thing was about to expire. Today was the last day or 10 hours ago was the last day, last day to be able to make one of your cards red. And I sat there for a long time and I thought to myself, who do I want to make red? Do I want to make a Zebu red? Who do I want to actually make red? And I decided to do Aitana. And as you guys can see, my boy Azebu is going to win the ball back here. Azebu chilling in the box. Aitana getting involved with Azebu. Azebu trying to shoot it, but that one gets auto-blocked. And my boy Eto trying to make something happen here, but nothing's really working out. Finally, Azebu starts to dancing, and Azebu puts it into the back of the net. And now, I need to be fully non-biased when I speak to you about a Zebu because I'm a big Fikista, right? So it's like for a Real Madrid guy. Like when you talk to a Real Madrid guy, they're probably going to hype up Ronaldo. Or when you talk to a Barca guy, they're going to hype up Messi. A Zebu is that to us big So I need to make sure I'm completely unbiased when I give you my honest opinion on a Zebu. That's the number one thing. I never want to go into a video lying and be like, yeah, he's so good. Sink your whole club into this card. He's going to make you better. He's going to make you get 20 and 0. He's going to make you get rank ones. For me, 
the first thing I want to let you know is he, that guy just made the biggest mistake hitting that gritty on me. First thing I want you guys to know, I want a 20 and 0 on this RTG. But for the longest time, I rotated this account around just getting 20 and 0. You know? How, yo, just trying to 20 and 0, 20 and 0, 20 and 0, 20 and 0. Everything was 20 and 0. We already rank one, boys. We get 19 and 1 every single weekend except for the weekend that just passed, right? What we need to focus on right now, what we need to find is players that are going to help us get that, not chase 20 and 0, bring in players that are going to get us 20 and 0 without trying. And I lost focus of that. So I had an opportunity to Zebu. I have opportunities to try a lot of cards and I don't do it because I'm like so caught up on Henson and Portellus and this and that and all these meta cards. And for a long time, I got sunk into that idea of you can only rock certain meta cards to get you 20 and 0. And I kind of lost the way of the RTG, but I can tell you right now, we're back. I, I sunk all my, all my hard work into a Zebu. And is he a meta card? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, but... What's gonna lead to that now is no, not longer, like I can no longer just go out and buy Henson and Portellas. Now we gotta go find a card in the Portuguese league. Now we gotta go find a card in, in, in La Liga. Now we gotta go find a card in the Italian league that can take the spot of Portellas, that could take the spot of Henson, that could take the spot of uh, Rio. We gotta go find cards now that can play for us with only 200K. We, we don't got the money, a million coins to go buy Rio, Henson, and Portellas. We don't got that no more. And I'm actually excited. I feel like the RTG's back like a fire's been lit because now I'm like, all right, how do I find players that are good enough to go into this starting 11, make us get 20 and 0 without me chasing 20 and 0? And that's where it's going to get great. We got to talk a second for, before we talk more about Azebi about the Smith card. Smith has been dumb, bro. Like, she came in and she's scoring as many goals as a Zebu. And I want to tell y'all right now, in qualifiers, I think I'm 6-0. and And in those six games of qualifiers, because I've only played qualifiers, a Zebu has like 13 goals. No assists, just 13 goals. He has been putting all the goals into the back of the net. When Eto or Smith gives him the ball, he finishes. Now, I do want to let you know I shot a lot with him. Every time I got into the box, I just wanted to feel what his shot felt like. And the one thing I will tell you is if you do this, a Zebu, you will not regret it. He is a pure finisher that moves crazy with the R1. He is the closest thing that you'll get to a Pele, to an R9, to a Cruyff without packing. Like, you know what I mean? It's SBC. You can go out and craft that going to be better than King Kenny. Um, he's, he's up there. Like, when you talk about the Zebus, bro, you got to talk about Pele, uh, Mbappe, those end game cards. A Zebu is 100% end game card. All right. He's a card that if you complete him, you can rock with this card for a very, very, very long time, right? You're not going to regret it. It's not going to be one of those things where you think you made a mistake because at the end of the day, he is a goal scoring machine, lads. He, he, he puts everything into the back of the net. He's fast. He's rapid. He has great play styles. So at the end of the day, do I regret doing a Zebu? No. There's going to be nothing on the market that you can go out and buy for one point. Because I, 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 okay, yeah, I had, I, I sunk my fodder, but. I sunk 1.4 million coins. What would I have went and bought for 1.4 million coins on the market that would get me what a Zebu is going to get me in this game, the amount of goals he's going to score for me? So I go and look, and I just want to check Gold Mbappe. Gold Mbappe's price is 1.8 million coins. So I brought in a Zebu for under Mbappe's price, right? Mbappe's the only card that would have went out, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of putting them on the same level. So for me, all around, I think it was a W for me to go ahead and do this SBC. But at the same time, I'm not telling you to go do it. I'm not telling you that you're going to love it. I'm not telling you he's going to be the greatest for you. What I'm telling you is he's insane in FC24. His finishing is remarkable. Um, and I personally love the guy because he played for my club. He played for my team. He played for, you know what I mean? So he means a lot to me. But um, I, I guess for me, it's more about the fun that he brings to my team, right? And the fun that he brings to the series. What do I mean by that? Like I said, the fact that I'm lost at the center mid position, I'm not lost because I have Aitana. Also, Aitana, I could sell her for 50K. I think that's what she sells for still, if she sells, sells for that. But I'm just going to make her untradeable. My team's going to be fully untradeable now. And her and Neymar are officially going to be red. Why? Because her and Neymar are club legends. You guys know they have carried this badge for a long time. Also, lads, I get this little pack right here. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm going to end up getting Dembele. Now, I don't really know if this is good. I was hoping I got VVD. Um, but at the end of the day, I got Dembele. And, and for me, Dembele, a five-star skiller, 86 overall with crazy speed. I thought to myself, this is pretty good. Now, I don't know if it's pretty good. I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to act dumb and y'all be like, yo, it's a W, bro. No, I'm being serious. Like, is this a W in December with what we have already? I already have Smith and stuff. Is this a W? You can play right wing, left wing. He's French. He's from the, he's from, from uh, five star, five star. I mean, I, I think it's a W, but I feel like probably everybody was getting him. So I'm not really sure. Y'all let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, 
I, I think me doing a Zebi was all around a W. Great goal scorer, great goal, mo a great mover, great passer, everything great about him. And then it makes me have to go find players that can help a Zebi win. And I like that. I'm back on the market. I'm back scouting. I'm back looking around. I'm not. I'm not stale. I'm not in a stale position where oh, I got Henson. I got Portellas. I don't need nothing else. Nah, man. I gotta go back out. I gotta find a center back to replace Rio, right? I gotta find. Uh, 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 is there somebody out there better than Aitana that can take Aitana's spot and do what Portellas was doing? Give us that many goals. Is Smith okay at the right wing position? Um, and and right now, what you're watching here is Neymar actually just got benched because. Neymar was incredible at the striker position for me. I have Eto and Azebu now, so Neymar is not the best on the wing. So right now I'm looking for overpowered wingers. So Smith on one ring and I have Rodrigo on another. I want to replace Rodrigo, so I'm in the market looking for a winger that can take Henson's spot and also Rodrigo's spot. So it'll be Smith on one ring, uh, somebody else on another wing, and then Eto and Azebu up top. And then Neymar will be a 45th minute substitution for Eto. Eto will come out at halftime and Azebu and Neymar will come in with Azebu to kind of cook the rest of the way. But yeah, man, that's kind of where I'm at right now with the RTG. I'm looking now. I'm now I'm scouting the market, looking for talent, right? Like, and if you guys in the comments down below can let me know who's a cheap center back for me to bring in, who's a cheap center mid for me to bring in, who is somebody that is cheap but remarkable and gonna give me what Henson and Portellas did. They don't gotta be a meta card. They don't gotta be what everybody's running. I'm in the market looking for cards. If you watch my old school RTGs, I'm looking for the Walcotts. I'm looking for the, the the gold solids when he played for Roma. I'm looking for those type of cards, man. I'm looking for cards that not everybody's rocking, maybe an Evo card, but it's really going to stand out and it's really going to take that next step for us to kind of, you know, get that 20 and 0 without us even trying, right? Because that's what it's really all coming down to right here. Look at my boy Dembele off the bench. Oh, wait, actually, I think I, yeah, I brought him off the bench. I might have started him this game. But yeah, Dembele doing his thing. Now, I, I brought him off the bench. I brought him in to kind of try him and Dembele getting involved, man. You guys can see I'm rocking out with the player locking. That's one thing I'm doing a lot more now. After this patch, I feel like a lot of stuff is getting auto-blocked. So I am working on my player locking so that way I can kind of get these auto-blocks to kind of go away. But right here, as you guys can see, man, look at Azebu. I'm shooting from everywhere to see what he finishes. And he just getting really, really cheesy finishes. So Azebu's definitely bringing that next level of attacker to the team, right? We got Lucky and got Eto, which brought that next level, and now Azebu brought the next level. So we went from having like this series where we had Neymar and Rodrigo at striker to now having Eto and Azebu. What an upgrade at the RTG striker position, man. We're gonna pick up another massive win in qualifiers. We are flying through qualifiers. I gotta play my elite games and I gotta finish up qualifiers, but I think right now I'm like six and oh, and Azebu went crazy. But as you guys can see, I got a few things to pick up out of objectives, but we are gonna make Aitana red. Uh, we have Neymar Red, we have Azebi, we have Eto, we're fully untradeable, and we have 230,000 coins. So, again, 230,000 coins is not a lot, but it's a little bit. It's some, we, we, we could go do something with that, you know? We could pick something up, but I feel like I'm in a really good place with the RTG right now, lads. I don't know. I just feel like, it, I feel like this really kind of, like, brought the RTG back to life in a way because I felt like it got a little bit stale for a while. I don't know how you guys feel, but maybe your accounts aren't stale. Maybe you feel good, but I just kept playing with the same 11 and... I don't know, it just kind of felt like it was getting a little bit boring. And even though I was getting the 19 and ones, and even though I was getting the best finishes, I was kind of like using the same stuff over and over. And and I don't know, for me, I just like, okay, yeah, I would give away getting 19 and one to have, try new stuff, to have new stuff. You know, 19 and one is cool, but like, yo, I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel, but getting 19 and one every single weekend is lit, but at what cost, right? You don't get to rock out with the cool cards you want to. You don't get to, you know what I mean? So that's why I did this. My back line definitely doesn't look as good as it once looked. The team is still remarkable, by the way. Um, but yeah, look, four games played, 12 goals, my boy uh, Azebu. Yeah, the team, the team doesn't look as remarkable as it once looked, but I think it's just a lot funner, even though that's not a word. Anyways, Booyah Nation, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. For me, Azebu. I mean, 10 out of 10 so far. We'll see how he plays in the Elite Division. Thank you guys so much for watching. More uh, gameplay tomorrow. Thank y'all. Hit that big old thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, and I will catch you in the next RTG episode. I'm looking for a center back, a midfielder, and a winger. So if you got somebody that's cheap and good, let me know in the comments. Peace. We out of here.